Gyrolex. <laughs>Okay, so we have here a uh, quite tricky problem, but uh, manageable. Okay, so we have a cylindrical pipe with a diameter of 8 inches and a height of 24 inches. So the pipe has a cylindrical hole uh, drilled straight to the center with a diameter of 4 inches that runs the entire height of the pipe. So calculate the cost of painting the pipe, uh, assuming that the cost of paint is... 0 0.10 dollar per square inch okay so uh, let's visualize first the problem so we have a pipe with a diameter of 8 inches and then we have a height of 24 inches then another one is we have a hole of course this is a pipe and the inner region is hollow okay so we have a hole which has a diameter of uh, 4 uh, inches. Okay, so this is the uh, visual representation of this problem. And we are asked to calculate for the cost of uh, painting it. Okay, so this one is a little bit uh, tricky. So painting this pipe, of course, we need to uh, paint uh, this outer uh, region. Then we need to paint the inner region and also this top and bottom uh, base so to make it clear uh, let's uh, analyze the structure of this pipe so we have uh, first the let's call it the outer pipe which has a diameter of 8 inches so we need to paint uh, this outer uh, pipe okay so of course we will charge for uh, labor and material for painting this lateral surface area of this pipe and another one is uh, uh, this inner region okay so we need to paint that inner region so i hope you can visualize that one okay so another uh, labor and material for this one of course you will charge uh, for the cost of uh, painting this uh, region and another one is the base the top so this one okay so you need to paint uh, this top base and of course the bottom base so you need to paint uh, this one of course this is another uh, labor material so you will charge for the cost of it so actually the total cost for uh, painting this uh, pipe is the lateral surface area of this outer uh, cylinder and the lateral surface area of this inner uh, pipe and the two bases so you will add all of this uh, area okay so that will be the the cost of painting this uh, pipe okay so let's calculate for the lateral surface area uh, let's uh, derive first the uh, equation so we have an example uh, cylinder here so r is the radius of base and h is the uh, altitude of the cylinder okay so again uh, uh, quite familiar to you this uh, general equation we have e times p so in this case, E is the height and P is the perimeter of the base. But since this is a circle, the base is circle. So the technical term instead of perimeter is circumference. And the formula for the circumference of the circle is uh, 2 pi r. Okay. So by the way, the perimeter and circumference has uh, the same idea. Uh, so this is the surrounding uh, length of the circle. Okay, so we just need to rearrange the equations. So we have uh, 2 pi r times uh, h. So this is a uh, commutative property of multiplication. So it doesn't have to be in order. Okay. So let's use this uh, formula for the calculation of uh, first the outer cylinder. So the lateral surface area of the outer cylinder is uh, equals to 2 pi times. Take note, uh, the given is... Uh, diameter which is 8 inches but we need the value of radius so 8 inches diameter so radius is half of this so the radius is uh, 4 uh, inches so 2 pi times 4 times height which is uh, 24 inches so that will give us uh, 192 pi square inches so this is the lateral surface area of 
the outer cylinder. Okay, so next is the inner cylinder, the same formula, but of course, uh, different radius. So we have the lateral surface area of the inner cylinder equals uh, 2 pi times, okay, we need the uh, radius value. So diameter is 4, half of that is 2. So 2 pi times 2 times the, the same height, which is 24 inches, and that will give us 96 pi uh, square inches. So this is the lateral surface area of the inner cylinder. And next is the area of the base. So as you can see, the base is not completely filled with the area of circle. So uh, this is a donut shape. So we need the shaded area only. So to calculate for this uh, area of the base, so area out, this is the outer circle which has a diameter of 8 inches and uh, A sub N, this is the area of the inner circle which has the diameter of uh, 4 inches. We are going to use the pi r squared formula so we need the half of this, the radius. Uh, but we have another formula if the given is the diameter. So this is the formula of circle if the given is diameter. So more like pi r squared. So this is pi d squared but you need to divide by by 4. So let's use this uh, formula to the problem. So the area of base is, so we have 1 fourth pi times, so the first the outer diameter which is 8, so minus uh, another area of the circle, 1 fourth pi times the diameter of the inner uh, circle. So we have uh, common, we can factor this out, 1 fourth pi and this one is also 1 fourth pi. So we can simplify this equation. Yeah. So we have 1 fourth pi times 8 squared minus uh, 4 squared. And this will give us uh, 12 pi square inches. Okay, so this is the area of uh, the base. So we have all the three areas now. So for the outer uh, pipe, we have 192 pi square inches. For the inner pipe, we have 96 pi square inches and for the base I uh, take note this is only for one base so we need to multiply this by two since we have uh, two bases so we have 12 pi square inches for the base so to calculate for the total surface area of the pipe so let's label this as T sub pipe so the total surface area of the pipe is so of course the uh, surface area of the outer cylinder plus the inner cylinder and uh, the two bases. Okay, so we have uh, two here. Okay, times two. So let's plug in the values. We have 192 pi for the outer, 96 pi for the inner, and uh, twice for the base, which is 12 pi. So the total surface area is 312 pi square inches. Okay, so next is to calculate the cost. So for the cost of building this pipe, which has uh, 312 pi square inches as the total uh, surface area, and given to the problem, we have a 0.10 dollar per square inch in building this pipe. Okay, so of course we need to multiply the total surface area to the rate. So again, uh, check the denominator. So square inches. This one is also uh, square inches. So this. One will cancel out, uh, leaving the dollar unit. Okay, so 312 pi times 0.10 dollar, uh, that will give us the cost, which is 98.02 uh, dollars. Okay, so this is the final answer for this uh, problem. So the problem uh, requires a lot of steps, uh, but I hope uh, you can follow the solution. Okay, so this ends uh, for this exercise, and uh, see you in the next.